Last time on Gamma 9. Under attack. And now the conclusion. We were in the middle of setting up phase four. We've occupied the central base, but haven't set up the main defense yet. To buy time to do that, setting up a forward smaller defense is a good idea. Even if the first truck I send over gets sported. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Reinforcements landing. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Time for the mix shooters. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Reinforcement landing. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure completed. Nexus doesn't seem to want to give this spot up, do they? Structure under attack. Construction completed. Reporting. 
Structure under attack. Construction completed. With the sensor at the south of Phase 4 up, I'll send the UAVs to do a flyover and hopefully remove that small Nexus outpost from existence. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Commencing attack. Outpost existence status. Structure under attack. 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 Reinforcements landing. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure 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 under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. I think this is as close to a break in the action as I'll get. Time to set up the main Phase 4 defensive wall. Landing. I'll trust the temporary wall to last long enough for me to finish it.
While waiting, I'll move a truck towards the southeast base to see if I can't creep a sensor into artillery range. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Major research completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Well, that didn't work. So, let's prepare more trucks. I'll start a bit farther back this time, though. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. One reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. At this point, I think the main wall is complete enough to start pulling the MBG out. I'll have them head to the Phase 5 push, and as soon as they're out of the path, I'll swing the McShooters into their new permanent home at Phase 4. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. One reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Somebody order some rockets? Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. The southeast base's defenses are just about gone from that volley. 
They will still probably have land units there, but having a half dozen less things shooting back at the MBG will still make their lives easier. You know, when they finally manage to drive themselves here over the next five hours. Shall I try one more sneaky sensor? Well, can't say I didn't try. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Reinforcements landing. Structure under attack. And at this point, I finally remember I finished a research. The Nexus Heavy Body, Vengeance. I don't plan to redesign, rebuild, and refly my entire force, but there is one unit that I'm building non-stop that would benefit from a faster and heavier frame. The trucks. Let's look at the comparison. 22 extra armor, 30 extra incendiary armor, more than a thousand extra hit points holy carp, and I forgot to get the screen grab, but the heavy bob's land movement has gone from 0.73 on flak round and 0.62 on ramps to 0.98 on both. The fast bob gets the same armor boost, but only <clears throat> a 600 and change HP boost. Its speed was already capped, so no change on that front. With the redesign in place, I need to reschedule the perpetual build orders on the factories back home. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. They nailed my sensor right before the UAVs got a forward spot for the Unit artillery. That was actually pretty well done, Nexus. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Okay, these VTOLs are getting extra annoying. Time to start the phase 5 push. Slowly, but still. Research completed. Structure under attack. Research completed. Structure under attack. Reinforcements landing. Structure under attack. I'll follow the Phase 5 MVG push with the five new Vengeance Bobs, because that sounds like fun. Group 1 reporting. Under attack. Unit 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 under
unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Enemy base eradicated. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. With the MBG mostly repaired, time to take the valley. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. I keep the MBG pushing while under fire as I pull a small group of UAVs down. I can't pull out from here. To make phase 5 work, I need to clear the defenses facing me on the cliff side so that my trucks can set up the critical sensor. The good news is, with no land force counter pushing me, my tanks should easily be able to retreat if damaged. And this is the first actually wide open approach push we've had all stage. And the UAVs didn't make it. Replacements! Construction completed. Group one reporting. Research completed. Unit under attack. Research completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Far enough. Trucks get that sensor up. UAVs get south and ready to spot. Reinforcements landing. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. 
Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. You know what a good counter to never ending VTOL strikes is? This! Construction completed. As nice as that was, there's still a VTOL factory up. I'll edge another sensor a bit farther along the cliff face and send another UAV group over to finish the job, while also setting up a big defense against land pushes. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Research completed. Construction completed. Major research completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Reinforcement plan. Unit under attack. Construction. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Enemy base detected. Construction completed. Unit under attack. And thus ends phase 5. If you listen very carefully, you can hear my blood pressure dropping. Construction completed. With the south side locked down hard, I can swing the MBG back north and prepare to deal with the northwest base. While it's moving up there, I can try another ill-advised forward sensor. Unit under attack. 
Structure under attack. Reinforcement plan. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Reinforcement line. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. With the entire east half of the map solidly under my control, I can finally set about setting up VTOL rearm pads, and once finished, bring in the large group of Arnolds. Arnolds? Arnolds? Whatever. Air power in this stage is kind of a fickle thing. It's not that a UAV-led precision strike would be useless, but the total lack of real estate you have to deal with means that you are only going to be able to manage a half dozen actual attack craft. If you are only interested in suicidal bunker buster strike craft, then rearming them isn't a real concern. But as someone who is trying to play while never losing a single tick of experience, the combination of UAV and Arnold attacks into the massive SAMs that Nexus has, for a benefit of only six heap bombs per pass, is just not worth the effort. Unit under attack. Enemy base eradicated. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Major research completed. Construction completed. Reinforcements landing.
Construction under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Reinforcement landing. Construction completed. Research completed. Construction 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 completed.
construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. They got the truck, but no sense wasting this opportunity. I'll press the MBG into the next large open area and bring in the other trucks behind. After saving, of course. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. One reporting. Unit under attack. Reinforcement landing. A brief skirmish with the northwest base to remove a chunk of its main defenses. Unit under attack. 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 Hmm, they have a lot of units. With their forward defenses down though, this seems like a good time for a forward sensor. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. And with a forward sensor up, let's bring the UAVs over and bask in the glory of the rocket's red glare. Unit under attack. What, Unit only half of this attack. ultra huge base was taken out? That's disappointing. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Reporting. 
Unit under attack. A sensor in this corner should prove useful for the next UAV pass. Reinforcements landing. Unit under attack. Probably enough softening up. Let's have the MBG finish things here. Unit under attack. 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 Good one, reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Enemy base eradicated. Artifact detected. Group one reporting. Artifact recovered. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. One reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Research completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Reinforcements landing. Construction completed.
Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. So this is a bit of a stretch, but getting up bunkers on these three spots, and naturally more things behind them when finished, will give me an overwatch position on the main nexus base, with my trucks being safely behind the higher elevation defenses. I probably should have had the MBG cover them while doing it, but you know this stage really just needs to end. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group Zero, reporting. I went through all the effort of bringing them here. Let's get the Arnolds on a bombing run. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. To be on the safe side though, let's get a good couple dozen UAVs to front for them. I don't think just 10 would do it. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed.
Construction completed. These two areas here are good places for a sensor to bomb the eastern part of the main nexus base, but I'm going with the Arnolds from the east instead with the artillery push coming from the north. Reinforcements landing. Construction completed. Group Zero, reporting. Construction. Group Zero, reporting. Group Two, reporting. Group Three, reporting. Group Nine, reporting. Construction completed. Group Zero, reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. On our way. On our way. On our way. Group Nine, reporting. Unit under attack. Commencing attack run. Group Zero, reporting. On our way. On our way. On our way. Unit under attack. On our way. Construction completed. Wait, I only got two SAMs? So you may have noticed that my land units and artillery tend to hold their fire when shooting at single targets to avoid wasting shots. You may have also noticed in past stages that this doesn't always happen, like when I attack trees or reduce the value of pre-war housing. However, apparently VTOLs also don't hold back. The only reason I hadn't noticed earlier is that, when I was using the Tiger body, the planes were so slow that a target was either dead or not from the previous bomber before the next one was in range. When using the really fast Nexus bodies, they all got in range so fast that 20 planes fired at what would take, at most, two planes to kill. There is no way I'm going to try and micro a 22 stack of VTOLs into two plane groups, but I'll still do at least one more air raid, or two, just because I don't like having bored Arnolds. I will also, however, set up a sensor in the valley I showed earlier, since plan A isn't going to be efficient. Reinforcements landing. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Under attack. Reinforcements landing. That never gets old. Construction completed.
Unit under attack. Commencing attack run. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Reporting. Group two, reporting. Major research completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Hey Nexus, all those game load sound effect bugs? No hard feelings. This seems like a good time to bring the MBG in for the coup de gras. Group 1 reporting. Zero reporting. Reinforcements landing. Group zero reporting. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Major research completed. Group 
Zero. Reporting. Unit under attack. On our way. On our way. On our way. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. Commencing attack run. Unit under attack. On our way. Really? A UAV survived that? You know what? You are now our honorary, totally unmanned survivor. Head back to the LZ and take a break. Group 1, reporting. Since there is no next stage, let's look at the actual text. Systems research completed. This is the missile code blocker from last stage, pay no attention to it. Vehicle research completed. Nexus Heavy Body, Vengeance. You've seen its comparison when I updated the bobs. Weapon research completed. The stupid OP artillery, named Archangel, Structure research completed. And its emplacement. It also came with the Mark III upgrade to missile damage. Weapon research completed. The Paper Towel Cannon, aka the Gauss. Structure research completed. Structure research completed. And its hardpoint and emplacement. Let's see how they stack up. If we switch the McShooter to the Angel, and then check that against the Archangel, not much of a DPS change, but that's like double the range. This thing fires so far that the only time you can outrange it is in some of the absolute largest multiplayer maps. And even then, staying out of its range is really more of an academic question. and the Gauss. Slightly more DPS than the Railgun, much more damage per shot than the Railgun, significant range improvement, and 900 more HP. Not getting this till after it can be effectively used is kind of a bummer. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Boy, it would really suck to lose someone right at the end here, wouldn't it? Unit under attack. Construction completed. Completed. Unit under attack. 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 Under attack. Unit under attack. Group zero reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Group zero reporting. On our way. Unit under attack. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. Under 
You know, I probably should have used the Onolds to take out the Link turrets instead. Individually, they aren't a threat, but in this concentration, it could have ended up an issue. After many long months of struggle, we defeated Nexus. The war started by Dr. Reed was over. We have recovered many of the technologies we sought. It is now time to use them to rebuild the world. Slowly, out of the ashes, we will rise again. Objective accomplished. Not even a credit roll? Group 0, reporting. Group 3, reporting. Group 2, reporting. Much like when Nexus had a tactical nuke in Gamma 2, but makes it sound like a world ender, this is one of those scenes that almost seems quaint, that you can kill a program by just killing a central server. It does actually make sense, though, for a different reason. In 1999, the internet wasn't really a thing yet, so the writers, or really any human being back then, had no idea how much it would morph society. That said, in the event that a global nuclear annihilation, things like the internet probably wouldn't exist anymore, so a program as complicated as an AI probably would have to be on a large localized server when deprived of any hope of distributed processing. And if that server is destroyed, a backup copy in space is probably the best place to hide from a bunch of electromagnetic pulses. But that's all hypothetical. If there's ever a sequel to this game, I offer my services as an advisor to the scriptwriters to make sure the in-universe lore stays coherent. And that said, the SCCWASG is over. I hope everyone enjoyed it, or at least was able to successfully beat the game with it. I would like to thank the individuals who assisted me with this video series. KJF01 and Alfred007, who acted as fact checkers to make sure I got all my behind the scenes info right, mostly. Alex the Dacian, who designed the various sweet thumbnails. YouTuber Eric Pearson, who was, I believe, the first person to watch my first video after it went live. My mother's pets. And lastly, but far most importantly, YouTuber Tapping That Sass, who introduced me to the various editing software I've been using, donating me his professional microphone that I did eventually figure out how to use without a horrible echo, and as well, providing the voice of David of Alpha. I couldn't have done it without all of these guys. If anyone thinks my presentation style was fun to watch, I may do more series in the future. I have a few things in my personal life I need to handle first, as well as some more practice with Adobe Premiere I'd like to get done, but I'm putting a link to my personal YouTube channel in the description below, as well as way back in the series first video. If you want to subscribe to it, then should I ever decide to continue my semi-commentary campaign walkthrough and strategy guides, you'll get instant notification of it. I'm thinking my propensity for strategic drawing all over the screen would go well with Ultimate General Civil War. 
But in any event, I have been the Mouse Master, and good night to you all.